Aries, this is your finance in July 2020 reading. This card wanted to pop out. Moving on, emotionally, new beginnings, going to pursue your Ten of Cups, Aries, fiscally, financially, doing what is happy for you. Dare I say happy and convenient, Aries. Making all my reads around 15 minutes. Uh, I'm going to make these both available on Instagram and YouTube, as well as my Facebook running gun tarot. So feel free to use whatever social media platform that you so favor. But yeah, our overarching theme here for you financially in July 2020 is moving on to pursue your highest form of happiness and how you make your shekels and pentacles and income and finances here. Um, you are attempting to level up in this regard and knowing areas as I do, you will be doing that with flying colors. Um, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. You have lack of communication, maybe lack of love, maybe lack of eights are new beginnings, could be passionate, starts in new beginnings, double eight energy, 88, look up that angel number if it's significant for you and your finances. Not in particular talking about love here, but it could be tied into your finances, the love that you bring. It doesn't have to be a romantic love. It could be a message of love, Aries, that is imbued or done with in whatever it is you practice to make your money. This is in the reverse. So you're just gonna wanna turn that right side up. Eights of Wands are communication known as Cupid's Arrows, right? So it could be incoming communication or outgoing communication. In order for the incoming communication to be received, you have to pick up that phone, check the email, be receptive, be open. If it's you that needs to be communicating, try to do that with clarity, try to do that with passion, try to do that with heart. This will help you in your endeavors to reach that emotional Ten of Cups. See what else we have for you for finances July coming out of a third party relationship. Speaking of cups, this might be hindering your work in progress methods here. This is what this three of cups symbolizes, leaving the party, leaving the third party for something more mature and serious. This is probably what you're embodying you yourself and communicating. So yeah, you're going to want to run in the in the direction of doing things solo, dolo. Anytime we do see you in that third party situation, you're going to want it to be involved with work with that three of pentacles energy. Okay, moving on to the three of cups energy because we're beyond that, right? We're at least with the eight of cups here emotionally. The emotion, the emotional investment is what's going to tie you to your work. Whether it's, you know, the mundane nine to five or the spiritual work that you do you know which could end up being you know mundane but again it's the passion and the emotion that you fuel it with and tarot we move from fire to water so that's what we're working with here fire to water and then from there we go to air and earth it's usually how we best manifest destiny okay Spirit highest possible messages for Aries, July 2020, in regards to finances, money, and we could even throw career in there. Spirit. Feeling like a missed opportunity. I call it emotional stability here. The divine is handing you a cup, a cup of solace after spilled tears. Again, making progress from that third party to that fourth uh, cup. Uh, fours are about stability, so you're finding emotional stability in a place where you can work appropriately and accordingly. This might seem some way right now, but again, these you know trespasses or these transits or these uh, travels are, are off for the betterment of your situation. Uh, as far as your emotional ties to your finances and career. 
King of Swords in the reverse. This is having the answers within, already knowing this about yourself, and thus making the appropriate cuts, employing analytics, clear cut, clean communicative energy with that King of Swords, whether it be by text, phone, email, or just concise understanding of where you're at in your situation, how this, that, and the third affects what you're trying to build, what you're trying to do, weighing out uh, the scales with this um, King of Swords energy here, air energy, Capricorn Aquarian energy. Capricorns have no quit. They always achieve their goals. Okay, so you might have Capricorn in your chart. Uh, Aquarian energy, your work occupation might involve in service to others. So, not for nothing. Petty competition here involved with the Five of Wands. This is possibly what you're trying to leave here. If anything, it's just a distraction and an energy drain from your focus and your concise, clear conclusions involving creativity and your message. Just some lying, cheating, backhanded bullshit energy here with the Seven of Swords. Incoming victory. Mask on, mask off. All that shit has been disempowering you, but you can't disempower the Emperor, is what I like to say. Even if it's in the reverse, you can only create illusions of disempowerment here. You can only create illusions of imbalance here with that Two of Pentacles in reverse. So, uh, just know that, you know, the truth always emerges and, and those that are playing the game correctly will always come out on top. Um, and if you're confident and secure in your dealings and if you're doing things the correct way and genuinely, then you will be okay. You will be taken care of. The universe will have your back. Aries, July 2020 finances. The moon card, emotional attachments to the unknown, not knowing where you're going to lead, but not being fearful. I'm not getting a fear energy. I'm getting... If anything, I'm getting an impatient energy here. You got the emperor, you're taking this person and you're putting him upside down. That doesn't make him afraid of anything. It just annoys him or pisses him off. So what we're talking about is trying to, you know, see this for what it is. And, you know, just being just above it and just, you know not in like a personal regard that you're better than anyone or anything but it's just you're out of you know you know you're, you're at a different you're in a different league okay they're out of your they're out of your league and you're out of their league in a good way you're the fucking emperor so um whether it's dealing with people at work or you know whatever it is um see incoming victory with the chariot here uh, Spiritual, insightful energy. Victory after the battle, proverbially. Um, but it's like, come on, did we expect anything different here with you? Um, let's see. Same thing with the King of Swords energy is what I'm getting here. It's like, you know the truth of it and emerging this in the upright simply by turning it right side up. There's just more clarity to it, seeing clarity, knowing what it is, kind of just waiting the clock out um, in regulatory time. There's for you. Uh, yeah, you're just waiting for that. Do you, um, in, in, in the midst of that, you're kind of just sitting on your investments, so to speak. You're letting them accrue their uh, their yield uh, the seeds are planted and uh, you're kind of just waiting for that opportunity that you know the fates of destiny have for you here financially anyways uh, spirit we got about six minutes left highest possible messages you got the queen of wands in the reverse again jealousy energy around you I think you have the full card in reverse res uh, Hesitance, resi hesitance, uh, reticence, excuse me. It's taking a new leap of faith and journey. Rest and recovery, relaxation, making sure to incorporate proper wavelengths of action and rest and recovery. Equal opportunity. It's only going to help you. It's only for your betterment. Okay. 
coming out of pettiness, challenge, objectionable energy here with the Page of Swords. What else? Yeah, third party situation, being slick, sly, stealing, lying, lying cheating. You seen that clearly, wanting to come out of it because you know it's just bullshit energy. What else? What else? What else? Spirit, highest possible messages. So, yeah, I think as soon as you leave that bullshit energy, then you'd be better. You'd be better off on your own because the Emperor is just grounded, highly touted, been there, done that. That's the energy that you're channeling, especially mixed with the King of Swords. You already know what's going on. Uh, I see a lot of wings here. Wings in the chariot, wings at the top of the throne of the King of Swords here with the butterfly. Wings on the chariot, taking flight. Four of Wands in the reverse. Fours are about stability. 11 11 make a wish, no matter which way you turn it. Internalize stability of action. You have your routine, you know what you're about, you know what you're doing. Uh, it could be an internal recognition of how far you've come and a marriage of uh, masculine feminine energies here. Um, yeah, soulmate. You're your own soulmate, you know, for all intents and purposes with these divine positionings of masculine and feminine. You're unified within. You're in tune with the holy male, female, childlike wonderment. Uh, and when you're aligned in this way as the emperor is, then you can't fail in any facet. Um, let's see, spirit concluding cards and messages as we... Reach closer to the 15 minute mark. Finances, July 2020. Aries, highest possible uh, messages, any advice, any obstacles. Spirit. Oof. Yeah, it's like you, you're not worrying about, you know, the fact, you know, carving out your own tradition with the hero font in reverse here. You could be out of wedlock. You could be out of union with your significant other but you don't need to worry because you're on some ten of pentacles shit you're like i got you babe i'm ready doing what we need to do foundationally before i even met you so i just see you uh, in a clear concise uh, road and path to victory here despite possibly being out of physical union again you're more concerned about marriage souls energy within first and foremost so as to radiate dial that frequency externally and that divine timing element of the Hierophant, whether it be in reverse or in the upright, is signified by the Ten of Pentacles in due time. Check your trajectory. Don't necessarily check the hour on the clock. It's basically what I'm getting here because your trajectory is going to speak more volumes than where you're currently at here. So have faith. Have no fear. I see you in a good place, Aries. And um, trailblazing is always leader of the pack. Um, yeah, I think we're good there. If you want more, please feel free to reach out for a direct one on one live or pre recorded reading. Like, share, follow on all social media platforms. Holler at your boy. Peace.